Hi Gemini! Welcome to your mid-September 2020 general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Gemini, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're safe and healthy whenever you're guided to watch this message. Now, before I get started with the reading, I do want to answer the number one most frequently asked question I receive on this platform. Do I accept orders for personal readings? And the answer is no. However, I do hold a monthly contest where I select one lucky subscriber to win a free 30-minute personal reading from yours truly. So, in case you're interested, open up the description box of this video and you'll find the rules of entry of how to enter for this contest if you're interested in winning a free reading. So, now let's get to business. <laughs> this is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement you feel guided to watch for the sign of Gemini. This will not resonate with every Gemini that listens to this message. Messages are said for those who need to hear them the most, and that's how my intuition and guides prioritize the messages that I provide during these readings. If this reading is not for you, Gemini, I suggest checking your other signs in different placements because depending on the planetary aspects in the sky currently, those signs may resonate with you more at this time than your sun sign does. Also, Gemini, it's important to remember that this reading is general, where I am tapping into a collective of thousands of energies. Therefore, not every single message in this reading may be for you. Please only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear that message. Hi cross watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in a Gemini, who wouldn't be? I do have to remind Gemini and cross watchers that energy is fluid, so you may feel like I'm describing a certain scenario in this reading where the roles are flipped and reversed, and if that's the case, you're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles, should that better resonate with your specific situation. But because this is a Gemini reading, I will make Gemini the main subject of the reading. All right, Gemini, let's get started. So Gemini, I'm going to ask for an energy that is in or around your energetic field that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you, whether you're aware of it or not. I'm going to ask how they feel about you, what they think about you, what they like about you, what they don't like about you, and what their highest hopes and deepest fears are in regards to this connection with you, Gemini. Ooh, there we go. All right, let's get started. Ooh. Wow. Hmm. Okay, so Gemini. Interesting energy we have going on here. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles energy, Taurus energy. Some of you could be connected to a Taurus. You could have Taurus in your chart. You could even possibly be a Gemini Taurus cusper here. But with the King of Pentacles, this is someone that demands stability, security, honesty, loyalty, devotion, trust, respect. And I feel with more than anything, Gemini, someone's been waiting on this in a connection. And maybe it's just waiting on a commitment in general. I feel as if things haven't been committed between the two of you. You guys have been talking, you've been hooking up, you've been flirting, but nothing has been cemented yet. Nothing has been stable. And someone is going to ask for the stability and be very upfront and honest about it. I feel as if someone's kind of, with all the cards here, whether it's you or the other person, Gemini, is kind of done with the games, kind of done with the sidestepping and really wants this to come to fruition if it is right. 
and I feel as if that conversation just hasn't been had yet and I don't know I feel as if someone's trying to avoid that conversation with you Gemini um based on whether it's like they're not ready to commit yet or they know that you're waiting on this commitment and because they're not sure if they're ready themselves they haven't been able to provide that full validation for you but I think things are turning and I'll tell you why we have a lot of pentacles here and a lot of swords so earth energy air energy very very strongly here but I feel with this overall energy here I feel as if someone's afraid that they may lose some sort of freedom or some sort of independence should they be in a committed relationship. Whether they were in kind of a controlling relationship in the past and it just wasn't for them. I'm also picking up on a failed marriage here and due to that failed marriage it's kind of been difficult for someone to really want to open up to an option of a committed relationship but regardless i feel that there's going to be a conversation someone's done with waiting around someone's done with the sidestepping and they're going to demand some sort of confirmation stability security or else things may just move on i'm getting that someone could have like sideburns or like stubble or a beard whether that's you or the other person could just because you know quarantine you just miss a few shaving days you know let the hair grow out a bit um but yeah overall with this king of pentacles energy someone wants to be serious and someone does want to give to this and commit to this but they're not going to do it if it's one-sided and if it is one-sided if someone gets that feeling it's going to be they're going to move on with their own value because they know what they're worth so someone's going to have to get really, really clear before the opportunity's missed. And I don't know, Gemini, with all the pentacles, you could work with this person. Um, I feel like someone definitely has like a corporation job where they're pretty high up um, or they're working to get into a specific role. Um, and someone may be feeling like... Like that's a distraction or could be a distraction, but instead of telling someone that, they're just still sidestepping because they still want the other person around, but just not yet or just to be fully committed yet. And that is definitely throwing someone off, but let's go ahead and get into it. So this is positive, Gemini. <laughs> Overall, um... How they feel about you is Eight of Pentacles energy, Virgo energy. So some of you could have Virgo in your chart. You could be connected to a Virgo. Um, but I do feel that they know or feel like you are expecting this dedication. You are expecting this commitment. I feel as if you, someone's been really working hard at trying to get this to come to fruition and someone sees the other person definitely doing all that work here. But I gotta say, I just feel for some of you, you someone's recognizing here that it is a bit one-sided. And I do feel as if, Gemini, there's this hovering knowing or like some sort of guiding or calling that they know they have to put more in or that you are sending signs that they're going to have to put more work in. I feel as if Gemini with this eight of pentacles energy, they know that if this is not going to be something that they can do, you are moving on. And that's why they haven't given you that full yes or no answer yet. Because I feel as if Slowly, they're starting to understand that this could surmount to something that is worth the effort. But again, I just feel as if there's some, there's this, just this fear of if I were to actually give my all and energy and time into this and for this not to work out, I would have just wasted my time. And I gotta say, for others, Gemini, they are afraid that, like, you would be the one to break their heart. And they don't want to be put in that vulnerable place. So instead of giving this their all 
they're trying to see if it's worth the effort first. But that's kind of some BS for some of you because, I mean, I feel as if you guys have been talking for a while or for a bit trying to get this to work and you're not going to do much more. Someone definitely likes to wear like strappy sandals or like sandals with buckles. I don't know if it's exactly Birkenstocks or something, but like gladiator sandals. And someone definitely has very long hair, very long hair, or they started growing their hair out. Someone could have like ombre style hair, whether that's you or the other person. But they, I feel with this Gemini that they know that you're expecting more dedication and more work and more time from them. But this is the promise, Gemini. Is that what they think about you? Is that this could be a start to something more valuable than what they've seen after time of being single, after time of a separation. This is the most potential in this connection with you than they've had with anyone. I am feeling a very single energy here. So this person has definitely been single for a bit and they've been planning on being a single for a bit. But when meeting you or when having this connection with you, there is an idea starting to be planted that this could be something that they're willing to commit to. By the way, Capricorn just had this in their exact position of what they think. So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could have Capricorn in your chart and if you do, or if you're dealing with one, I suggest watching the Capricorn reading to see if there's signs for you there. But they do see that there's potential and growth. They do see that this could be something stable, but different than the Capricorn reading, it's like from them feeling like they could mess everything up, it's like... It's like they just don't want to give it their all if it's not going to come to anything. And it's, I gotta be honest, it's a bit of a selfish type of energy. And a lot of you are kind of picking up on that as well. But, and this may even sound frustrating, like if you guys have been in a connection or talking to each other for a bit, it's only like now that they really realize around this time that this is something that could potentially become something more than what it is, whether that's just casual whether that's just hooking up or whether you guys do have some sort of solid foundation here, but start to build on that possibly. Someone could also have a nose piercing as well, like a nose stud on their right nostril, but it could be either. I'm just seeing the right one. What they like about you, Gemini, two of wands energy fire energy, particularly Aries energy. Some of you could have Aries in your chart. I mean, Gemini, you are very upfront. You're very honest. If there's something you see, if there's something you like, you go for it. I feel as if you are definitely the one to make the first move. You're definitely the one to let someone know that you're interested. And they think you're incredibly sexy. There's something very alluring about how you know, whether it's just the energy you give off Gemini or you just truly feel confident in yourself, it really is a turn on. You have a lot of ideas, you have a lot of goals that you want to pursue, that you want to accomplish. They see you as a very driven person, a very passionate person. And you live life to your fullest, you know, and you definitely introduce new things in their life in a way, um, with the two of wands, it's as if it's someone that always goes for the new, goes for what they feel drawn to. And they see that passion and that excitement in you, Gemini. Someone definitely has like faux fur jackets, faux fur boots, I'm picking up on as well. And maybe like a thigh tattoo, a hip tattoo. Or maybe a, like one on their leg. But they see you as very, very upfront, very direct, very charismatic and very charming. And I do feel as if most of my Geminis were the ones to make the first move. And that was incredibly sexy. Now what they don't like 
about you Gemini Ten of Swords energy, Gemini energy. So you guys could have double Gemini in your chart possibly, but this is what I'm really feeling from this. Um, I'm hearing that song right now, All Falls Down by Kanye West. I don't know if that will resonate with you in some way. But really, when it's over, it's done and there's no going back. And Gemini, I feel as if you say things where you know it hurts. You know how to really get this person to react. You really know how to get this person to be in their feelings. And you are very, very clear to end things, period. Um, but in a way that they feel, again, whether this is just their perspective or it's true or whatever, um, a very, very cold, cutting, precise, like a very surgical type of ending here where it's just you gain the upper hand in some way where they feel... I, I, I don't know why I'm picking up on this energy for someone out there. It's like you know how to end things with having the upper hand while they feel gutted, depleted, whether they would express that to you or not. But you're someone that doesn't waste your time. You're not someone that bullshits, quite frankly. And they know, and that's maybe why they've still kept you on the fence or still kept you around not giving you 100% confirmation of pure commitment. Um, because they know if they were to say no, it's done for good. You're not giving it a second chance. You're moving on to the next. By the way, I gotta say we have two tens on the board. You could be born June 10th. Um, 10 could be a significant number for you. You could be seeing 1010 lately. But I feel very strongly that there's a conversation that is going to be had that's gonna change everything, whether that's for the good or for the worst. But it, it needs to be had. It's time. A lot of you feel this. And the thing is, too, sorry, before I get into it, it's like they don't want to end this if, you know, that would be the wrong thing to do. If that would end up being a mistake because you wouldn't look back at it. Anyway. What they like the most about this connection with you, Ten of Cups, well, I'll be damned. Pisces energy. So if you could have Pisces in your chart, you could be connected to a Pisces. I mean, emotionally, they feel satisfied with you. They love being with you. They love your dates. They love talking to you. They love being... I don't know if someone lives by the beach or by the water, but there's like a certain body of water that you guys go to when... Maybe there wasn't so much of a lockdown going on, but would have like a picnic or would have a day out there. Something like outdoorsy for some of you, whether that's like a camping reservoir or whatever. But they really do love spending time with you and being with you. But it's like this person wants to have their cake and eat it too, and that's just not life. Someone could have children, um, whether you have children with this person perhaps or you know, one out of the two of you have kids, and they do like your kids or you like their kids, um, if that message rings true. Not for everyone, right? Oh, and I'm seeing sex on a table, too. That could be confirmation for someone out there. A picnic bench? Anyway. But they really see that this is emotionally fulfilling and satisfying in that if there were to be anyone to commit to Gemini, it would be you. But could they? That's the thing. Are they willing to set their ego aside to give this a chance that you would be everything that they want? And also I'm seeing shaved um, head, like someone could just recently shave their head or have like a shaved part of their hair as their haircut in some way. Again, not for everyone. What they don't like about this connection, Gemini, Five of Swords energy, Aquarius energy. Some of you could be connected to an Aquarius or you could have Aquarius in your chart. Doesn't have to be the case. This is what I feel about with this Ten of Swords here, about the upper hand, about, you know, you really say things that makes them think 
you say some truth, you speak your truth. Sometimes it could be a bit too blunt for them to hear or to bear, but I feel, Gemini, you wouldn't have to be so blunt and honest if they were more direct with you or if they were more honest with you. And you definitely... I don't, I don't know why I'm picking up on this, and it's not for everyone, but it's like you definitely outwit them in some way, or you definitely end up winning the debate or the argument or the conversation to where they know even if they were being petty or wrong that eventually you were right in that sense, that whether they weren't giving enough time, giving enough energy, that's the truth of it, whether they want to accept it or not. And you're usually the one to bring that truth to them. And sometimes they feel as if, like, you... I, I, I'm I picking this up on some, like, insensitive. But again, I think this is just built resentment from not being honest, not being upfront and keeping you let on. So that really needs to be addressed. Highest hopes, seven of swords energy, Aquarius energy again. Strong Aquarius energy. <sighs> Honestly, Gemini, I still feel as if they're not wanting to be direct all the way. They're still not wanting to be upfront. They're still not wanting to be honest. They know what they have to do. They know what they need to do, but they don't know if they really can or even if they really want to. Yeah, because look at this, Gemini, with the chains around their heels. They really think that should they stick around, should they give it their all, it would be chaining them. It would be limiting them. It would mess up with their freedom. So they're trying to keep this still casual. But that's just not working for you. I do want to clarify this. Why is the Seven of Swords here for my Geminis? The Magician. Gemini energy. Some of you could be dealing with another Gemini. Also Virgo energy as well. Queen of Wands. Fire energy, Aries energy specifically. Wow, okay, yeah. Um, Gemini, this is kind of the thing for some of you. With the Magician and the Queen of Wands, it's like they try to escape this, they try to keep this casual, but really, there's an intensity coming from you. There's an allure coming from you, a power coming from you that they really can't fully escape. Again, it's like what I said about them not giving you a yes or a no because they don't want to make the wrong decision. Even though their fear and their ego is telling them to run away, to keep things casual, to not to commit, there's this allure and this draw and this power that always comes back to you or of wanting to be back with you like I definitely feel for some of you this has been on and off and if you've been wondering why it's because they really can't escape their inner subconscious masculine whether you're male or female it doesn't matter but masculine drive to always return to you or to be with you because you do make them happy it should be that simple they know that this connection has everything. It has the love, it has the desire, it has the strength, the you know intellect that could really manifest into something beautiful. But really this person has an ego that needs to be checked. So, you know, I, I also gotta say with the magician and the seven of swords, this person is just trying to definitely keep their cards close and play the best game for them. And some of you just need to be aware of that. So whatever I think, you know, this conversation needs to be had, things need to be addressed in order for this to really go further. I think the decision needs to be made now. And a lot of you are coming to that realization as well. Deepest fears. The Hierophant, Taurus energy, also Capricorn energy with this card that I feel is a real reader personally, so some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Capricorn. This is commitment all the way. They're afraid of commitment. They're afraid of devotion. They're afraid of 
being evolved in something that would just limit them, that would make them feel like they have to obey a certain tradition or a certain expectation that they can't see themselves fitting at this time. An obligation, a duty, a service that they just can't commit to right now. Or that maybe they almost think, Gemini, like if this conversation needs to be had, which I feel like a conversation is definitely coming up, they may think you're asking more than what you really are. You're not asking for much, but they think you're asking the whole world plus three bags of potato chips and a million dollars to go with it, and that's not what you're asking at all. It's pretty simple. It's pretty easy to understand. And maybe that just kind of needs to be defined of where you two see this going and what you really expect from this. But don't let them try to run this game, Gemini. I gotta say that. And if it's vice versa, it's vice versa. You know who you are. Don't let them try to run this game. For the likely outcome of this situation, Gemini, we're gonna go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. If you'd like to join me there, just open up the description box where I'm gonna pull some more cards and even Oracle cards to add to this outcome. But before we go, I am going to pull a card from the Romance Angels deck. I'm going to ask Spirit if there's anything else we need to know about this person's intentions towards you, Gemini, or how they feel about this connection. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. And passion. Yeah, there is a lot of passion. I see that. I see that very strongly. The problem is is that there has to be more than passion to make a relationship and a connection feel fulfilling. Yeah, it's very strongly sexually magnetic, but I mean, the dick came can only be so strong or whatever, right? You know what I mean. But I feel like this pull, like that I was describing with the Seven of Swords Magician energy, you guys definitely have had a past life together or known each other in past lives. Um, but this could also, for some can indicate this on again, off again thing. Like this is someone you definitely already known for a bit, but really I am feeling like this connection between the two of you, especially what they're trying to deny with you, Gemini, is so strong because there is some sort of karmic's past soul contract that they have with you. And that's what they can't run away from. That's what they can't walk away from. So I do feel as if things need to be addressed. Things need to be said. Enough with the BS, enough with the sidestepping. But we'll really confirm all of this when we go to the extended reading. So if you'd like to join me there, again, just open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the reading. If this is where we depart, Gemini, I really hope that this resonated with you in some way or that you gain insight and clarity in regards to what's going on in your love life. If you did, please let me know. Please drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, Gemini, the tarot cards that I used in this reading are right here in case you're interested. I love you, Gemini, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Gemini.